Now we're going to take you over to Germany for a really a wild story. Police there arrested more than two dozen people in connection with an alleged plot to overthrow the government. Police say they plan to storm the parliament building. German authorities arrested the suspects this morning after launching more than 130 police raids across the country. Two more people were also arrested in Austria and in Italy. CBS News reporter Anna Norskevich joins us now from Berlin with more on this. So, Anna, uh, what do we know about this this plot, and uh, was it a clear and present danger to the German state? I read that they wanted to install some minor German noble as president of the German Republic. Hi, Vlad and Lana. So, uh, yes, it's quite an extreme story, especially when you remember uh, the riots in America on January 6th just last year, because it's, uh, well, quite comparable. The plans that this uh, far-right group had was uh, to do exactly that, to storm the German parliament, to storm the Bundestag, to um, establish a completely different uh, political system. And uh, the group is, consists of right-wing extremists, uh, QAnon sympathizers, uh, conspiracy theorists, conspiracy believers from, um, from from all sorts. And what is quite interesting is um, that we do not know yet ex the exact plan, but why this was taken so seriously by uh, the federal police and by, um, by the authorities here was because the group consists of um, ex-military, of mm -hmm. ex-special uh, ops guys, uh, ex-police, and just heavily... Um, armed and also well-trained people. Well-trained, armed, far-reaching. Uh, Anna, tell us more about their goals uh, for this group. Uh, um, it's interesting that they that they were able to get so many people and and from these backgrounds. Tell us about that. So basically, um, it was it's it started a few years ago, um, as you know, and as CBS often reported, there is still uh, quite a prominent and present neo-Nazi scene in Germany, and also now with QAnon and after the the COVID pandemic, uh, conspiracy theories in terms of there's a so-called deep state, like the QAnon believers say. Uh, this was also something that the Reichsbürger, that they call themselves the Reichsbürger, it's like the Reich citizens. Um, believed in, that there's a, a higher power within the government that needs to be toppled in order to, uh, well, to secure a better future for, for the country. And what is quite interesting is that they, um, the group had a plan of actually establishing new ministries, and they had all these people in place already once they toppled the government and once they stormed the Bundestag. Um, they had uh, former judges, former police officers, um, people with ties to, to all sorts of, of uh, parliaments and, and governments. And uh, the head of uh, this new Reich, the new mm -hmm. um, government, a new system, would be someone um, called um, Heinrich Reus, who he is a minor aristocrat from a minor uh, noble family. And he is, uh, he works as a, uh, independent financial advisor in, in in Frankfurt, and he was known, especially in the past few few years, to to spread all sorts of conspiracy theories that Germany is not a free country, that uh, Germany is not a free democracy, that Germany is ruled by bad people who want to uh, control power and suppress the people. And he was arrested uh, this morning, and I've I've actually watched his uh, his speeches from a few years ago which uh you know were quite shocking to uh to listen to because it seemed that he had very strong ideas of of um how a new system should should look like so wild to think that people would actually want to go back to nazi germany i mean it's sort of like uh if somebody in france were to say i want a descendant of napoleon right. to be the president of france i mean that's essentially what we're talking about here all right Anna thank you